Today I have a $60 Chrono Toys Funko Pop Mystery Box. And we're gonna crack this bad boy open because why? On this YouTube channel, I'll unbox anything. So today on at Franchise TV, there's a total of four mystery boxes in one box. What this is, this is the damaged New Year's Eve mystery box. So since it's damaged, some of these pops can have some minor damage to them. Will they just be totally trashed? I highly doubt it. Chrono Toys usually doesn't send them out completely trashed. There could be some damage on them, creases, probably some dog-eared corners, you know, stuff like that. So each one of these was $15 a piece, limit of four per person. Total of 60 bucks plus shipping. Shipping was probably like 15 bucks. So this actually probably cost me, I bet you around $75 total, more than likely. With shipping, probably about 75 bucks shipped for all four of these pops. So I've had this thing now, <laughs> at least a month, but that's okay. We're gonna do it right now, today. Let's see what I got in this. So Chrono Toys, I really enjoyed their mystery box in 2020. For the price point, they have decent value for the price point. You won't always get a big grail. You can't expect it, especially at $15 a piece. But you do have the possibility of getting out more in value than what you paid. And whenever Chrono Toys does their more expensive price point mystery boxes, I always jump on those in a heartbeat because those, I tend to get good value out of those at least like 1.5 times my money, it seems like, on most occasions. Not always, most occasions. They're individually boxed, so that is nice that they did that. I'm sure that they just picked four random boxes for everybody who purchased your limit of four per. Is Let's do this one first. Actually, let me do the little sound test. Pretty light box. Light box makes a little bit of noise. A little bit of noise. A little bit of noise. Let's do the quiet box first. Makes like no noise. So with Chrono Toys, pretty much, if it's in a pop protector, just like a saw protector, you got a pretty decent hit. Most of these pops will not even come in uh, soft protectors. They'll just be bubble wrapped. But, I mean, heck. They double box their damaged $15 Funko Pop mystery boxes. So that's actually pretty good. There shouldn't be anything that got extra damage on it. First one, pop protector. No, no pop protector. We have the back. Oh, it looks like Kevin Malone. Yep, from The Office. This uh, this is overseas sticker. This was, was this box lunch, maybe? The overseas sticker. I've, this might have been box lunch exclusive originally, but it's the overseas sticker. With Colonel Toys, they do buy a lot of pops with the overseas special edition sticker. It's the exact same pop, it's just a freaking sticker. That's the only difference. Oh, look at value. We're gonna look at the whatnot app for value. Whatnot will tell you the PPG value, and if you don't want the pops, you can sell them straight on the whatnot app. Oh, this does not have a value. It must be really new then. So I'm gonna say this is a store exclusive. I'll just say we broke even on this first one, $15. I think it's like box lunch. So first one, we're just gonna say like, like 15 bucks. So these are not coming pop protectors, but whenever I sell these in my future whatnot auction, all these pops will be placed in 10 bucks pop, pop shield pop protectors. My pop protector of choice, drilling down below, 10 bucks of pop.com. Next one. Let's see, we'll just keep moving down the line. Next pop. Hopefully, hopefully we get like one that's like worth, let's say, 30 bucks. That's that's our goal. One of these, $30. If we get that, this will be a success. But the price point of these, you know, they were very, very cheap. Actually, the first one I forgot to mention, it wasn't damaged at all. So even though this is a damaged mystery box, a lot of these will have possibly minor, minor damage on them, if any at, at all. Some will probably have some damage on them now, obviously. Next one. Oh, sweet. This is the original Venom, the blue box. This one actually is a Hot Topic exclusive. Got the overseas sticker on it. A um, little bit of damage on top of the box, a few creases. Um, yeah, this yeah, this is the Hot Topic exclusive one. It just, this actually was like a Hot Topic grail for Marvel for several years. 
And in 2020, Hot Topic restocked a whole bunch of their older exclusives, including this blue Venom. It kind of hurt the value of it a little bit when they did that. But we all know with Hot Topic, we expect Hot Topic to never really vault their pops, their exclusives. They're just going to keep restocking them because, I mean, they've got to make money too. And they paid for the mold. They had to probably pay for 50000 of them. If they can redo them every two or three years, re-release them, they got to make their money. So this is actually, okay, sweet. Uh, estimated value of 20 bucks. And it actually is going up in value. Looks like it's raised a couple, couple bucks. So um, even with the restock, it actually did hurt a little bit though. But okay, so this one, 20 bucks. So right now you can say we're, we're a little bit, we're a couple bucks above like what I paid per box. That's not bad. This Venom's not bad whatsoever. I'll take that in a freaking heartbeat. Move on down the line. Next box. So first two, both exclusives. They weren't actually like common pops. At least they were store exclusives. Pop protector? Ah, no. It's okay. Maybe something good. We got... Looks like Lord of the Rings. King... Aragorn. Yeah, that's right. This actually, I think, is a Barnes & Noble exclusive. I'm pretty sure about that. That was the original exclusive. This looks like it got restocked in... September of 2020 they restocked it of course uh, this overseas sticker a little bit of creases on top of this box very very light creases um, but it's not too bad of damage the first pop had no damage on it the past two had some minor like box damage but it's to be expected in a damage mystery box this is a value of oh that's nice 26 bucks it is Barnes Noble exclusive originally came out in 18 looks like it restocked in 20 so right now with 26 bucks, we're looking at a total of $61 for the first three. So we actually got back what I paid for the boxes without shipping at this point in terms of value. So this last pop, hopefully it's at least like 15 bucks, which means I'll even get back what the shipping cost me for these four mystery boxes. Here we go, last one. Come on, something good. Last box magic. You ready for last box magic? Come on, last box magic. Pop protector? No, no pop protector. Yep, come on. We have Dark Fin, is it the chase? Oh, not even the chase, that stinks. So this is the Hot Topic exclusive. Box has a big ding in it right there. This is the special edition sticker. Does it have a chase thing that glows in the dark? PPG value on the WhatNot app. Scan the barcode. It'll pull it up. We're looking at ooh nine dollars. That one was that one was a pretty big loss right there. Nine bucks. So that gives a grand total of all four boxes exactly seventy dollars PPG value. So in terms of what the boxes cost, I'm up ten dollars of value. Of course, there is damage in these boxes. So you probably take off at least ten percent for damages. So you could probably say it's worth about 60 bucks. So um, I got my money back in terms of value, but I didn't get like, even, I didn't get my shipping back, which isn't a guarantee or anything. But all in all, these weren't the best mystery boxes, but at least I got my original investment of 15 bucks a piece back, pretty much.